When I think about your work, Angela, I think about one of our favorite Soaring Birds activities, the best future self exercise, where a patient or his or her brother or sister or parents, even the healthcare professionals that are doing the heavy lifting and caring for these kids and families, they imagine themselves in three or six months or six years, and they think about the best things that could have happened or the best feelings they could feel. And then they create this image. They write about it. They draw a picture about it. And then that gives them a guidepost, something to look forward to. And when they're doing these difficult goals with deliberate practice and physical therapy, occupational therapy, relearning what the new normal is, they have this image to look forward to. Can you talk about the whole concept of best future self? I think it's really important to actually have a goal in mind. You know, when I work with kids, I often call it a wish, right? But a wish and a goal are, are the same thing, really. It's like what you want to come to pass, right? And I think articulating that and, and really uh, imaging it, you know, like making it come alive in your mind with all the details, I think it's in a really, really important way that human beings tend to move forward, right? I mean, kind of without that, like you said, you're sort of you're sort of directionless, right? But it's like, oh, this is what I'm aiming for. I do it myself, you know, and sometimes I forget to do it, and, you know, wiser people than me remind me, like, well, what are you, like, what does this look like? Just, you know, relax and imagine for a moment, six months from now, if everything goes right, you know, paint that picture, and then you realize, you're like, gosh, that's what I'm going for. I would make a suggestion about the best future self idea, and it comes from some research on goal setting mm -hmm. and planning. I think it sounds like you're you're doing this, but I'll just say that one thing that's really important is that you take that wish, right? And you say, and how will I feel? And you you know, you imagine it in technicolor. And then you try to bridge it to the present, right? So you try to come back from that and say, well, how do I get from there to here, or how do I get from here to there? And what's my plan? And then it gets very concrete. Then it's, you know, when and where am I gonna do what? in order to achieve that future. This is work that was done right here in New York City by NYU professors, Peter Goldwitzer and Gabriel Ettingen. And they found that if you merely fantasize about the future, you feel good, but you don't do anything. You know, kids going to physical therapy who are able to bridge the positive future with this, okay, tomorrow at seven o'clock, exactly. Here are the milestones, here's what I'm gonna do, here's when I'm gonna do it, here's where I'm gonna do it. Then you not only have this positive fantasy, but you have motivation to actually take action.